Amanda Green lives with pain. If I don't have nerve pain, I might have joint pain. If I'm not having joint pain, I might have headaches. The unrelenting pain is a symptom of lupus, an autoimmune disease where a patient's own immune system attacks the body. She participated in a study to see how VR can help with pain. It worked. It works for me. VR creates a distraction for her pain, and the content teaches her breathing techniques that also helps. If it helps with the pain or not. Brennan uh, Spiegel, a uh, gastroenterologist uh, at Cedar sinai uh, says uh, VR is more than just distraction. Whoa. He heads the hospital's virtual reality program. Abdominal pain, discomfort, GI symptoms, in some cases are related to mental state. The brain and the gut are constantly communicating. Something like virtual reality actually can intercede in the brain gut axis and sort of rewire the neural circuitry in a way that helps to reduce abdominal pain. Virtual reality can reduce pain, can reduce blood pressure, and now we're looking to see can it do really important things like reduce the need for opioids. But could VR also be addictive? We have not seen abuse amongst our patients who are using it for therapeutic purposes. Spiegel is now taking virtual reality outside the hospital to partner clinics such as Attune Health, where many of the patients suffer from joint pain. We're not just using it as a distraction method, but we are trying to train our patients in deep breathing and biofeedback. The company Applied VR is developing content to have a VR pharmacy. You need a wide variety of content because you have a wide variety of people in healthcare. You have every from you know, infancy to geriatrics. The aim is for patients to learn in virtual reality how to use their minds to manage pain and reproduce these skills in the real world. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Los Angeles.